Just got to our next hotel room. Um, the lady at the front desk was super helpful. I will explain that here in a bit because I'm actually waiting for a conference call from Pixel Labs, which is supposed to be at 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock their time, and it's 1.20. Oh. Just got done with the conference call. I am exhausted right now. I'm like falling asleep, but now I am ridiculously excited for this. I just can't wait for the day to happen. We have a million things coming up. Potentially gonna be chaos, it's gonna be exciting, it's gonna be a million things. Um, it's a million twice. That's how excited I am. Don't forget to check out the live stream. The live stream changed from days to hours. March 5th, Saturday, all day, dance marathon. Okay. So we've stayed in three different hotels this trip. I jump a lot of hotels, keep the prices low, sometimes I want to get like an exciting one, not a big deal. Every single time though, it's gotten better, at least for this trip. I wanted to talk about this room a little bit. It was kind of funny how we got here. Okay, so we got done from the mountains, and we were going to try to check in early, and we've had, no, excuse me, we've had problems with that this trip on our first hotel, where I was really weary not to call and ask, because I didn't want them to freak out. But this one, we got done in the mountains, it was a great time. Um, jetted back for our conference call that we just got done with at like, that started at one, and I called the hotel and she was amazing. She had no problem at all checking us in early. Um, I was being a little bit picky and I was not trying to be, but I kind of wanted a balcony room since they only, balcony room, since they only had a few. Um, I wanted kind of to be facing the mountains, and she was absolutely helpful and got all of it taken care of. We got the last balcony room on the far corner that we can see the mountains with. It just makes the day better. We'll go through a room tour. We got Sleepy and Sleepy. We got my sandwich I need to eat because I haven't eaten anything yet and I'm dying, but I got work to do. And check this out. They're a little cloudy today, but Do some time lapses later. Speaking of the dance marathon, I thought I would share with you my insane schedule for the next few weeks here. This was fun last time. Let's try this again. Let's do this. I left for Colorado on the 25th of February. Today is Wednesday, March 2nd, and tonight we get to see Black Mambo for one of the last times. Kobe Bryant. Woo! There we go. We needed a bigger woo on that one. So we leave tomorrow, which is Thursday again for Iowa City. We get back probably at like 3 a.m. I'm gonna try to use Friday to catch up on work and sleep as much as possible because I work Friday night at Brothers again till two something and then jet back up Saturday to work the dance marathon starting at 8 a.m. We will be starting at 8 a.m. The stream will start at 11, but set up and all that stuff. So honestly, I might just, if I'm not tired and hopefully I get enough rest right here, I might just drive afterward so I'm at least in the same city go home and be ready. After the dance marathon, Sunday, I'm gonna do nothing at all. I need to rest. Funny story, I have Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday to rest up, catch up on work and whatnot, and then Thursday, I leave for Colorado again for a week. After that, we get back on Wednesday, I have to work that weekend as well somewhere else, and I'll deal with that when it comes, but excited to be right back here. Here's my schedule, though. Last day of the trip, headed to the Lakers game. Really excited for the game. Really wish I could stay and watch this.
It's for a vlog. Sorry. I'm just getting the handoff of the food. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is that part of the first one? The life right there. Hell yeah, John. There is another layer of burritos underneath all the tacos. I love How was that, tacos. Williams? I love tacos because they're so delicious. Gonna go fish, fish taco in. <laughs>